In this episode, we're going to talk about something called comparison operators inside PHP. And this is actually a really important episode for you guys because you will actually be using comparison operators quite often when you write PHP code. So as you guys can see, I did actually write some stuff on the screen already. I wrote that variable X is equal to five and variable Y is equal to 10. I also wrote something down here, which we didn't actually talk about yet, called an if else statement. Now, the basic idea behind an if else statement is we're going to put something inside these parentheses. And if that is true, then it's going to do whatever I put down here. If whatever is inside the parentheses are false, then it's going to jump down to the next line and do this down here instead. So what we can do here is we can actually go ahead and take our variables called X and Y put them inside the parentheses and then write something in between them to compare them to each other. So that's what we mean by comparison operators. Whatever we put in between these two variables are gonna be the comparison operator. So I can actually go ahead and check if these are equal to each other by writing equal equal. Now, you need to understand the difference between writing equal, equal equal, and equal equal equal, because there's actually a difference between them. So when we write equal, we're saying that X is equal to five. If you write equal equal, I can actually write it up here as well. Then we're actually checking if X is the same as five. So there's a difference between using different types of equal signs. And this is something that some people might get a little bit confusing in the beginning when they start learning PHP. So as long as you learn these differences, you should be fine. So right now we're actually checking if X is the same as Y. And as we can see, it's not. So if I go in and refresh the browser, it should actually say false. And as you guys can see, if I zoom in a little bit, it does actually say false. Now we can also go ahead and say, well, okay, so these are not equal to each other. If I do actually go up and change my 10 to a five, now they should actually be equal to each other and say true. So if I refresh the browser, you can say it says true. Now we can also go in and say, okay, but what if, what if I want to take if these are not equal to each other? We're actually going to be using a symbol called exclamation mark and put it in front of the equal signs. And we're actually going to remove one of the equal signs. So we're basically replacing one of the equal signs with an exclamation mark, which basically says if X is not equal to Y, then it needs to print out true. And right now it should actually say false because X is in fact equal to Y. They're both five. So if I go refresh the browser, you guys can say it says false. So if you go back again and change the five back to a 10, refresh the browser, it will in fact say true. Now let's actually go ahead and talk about the next equal sign. We put three in here. Basically what we're saying here is that if X is equal to Y and it's the same data type, then it should print out true. So if I go ahead and refresh the browser, it should probably say false because both X and Y are not equal to each other. So one, well, actually both of these conditions, actually no, one condition is not true right now because they're both the same data type, but they're not the same, you know, number. So if I actually change my five to a 10, it will actually say true because now both conditions are true. It's the same number and the same data type. Now, if we actually go in and change the Y to a string instead by putting you know, double quotes around the 10, refresh the browser, you guys will notice it will actually say false. And that's because right now the X is a 10, which is an integer and Y is a string, even though it says 10. If I do actually remove one equal sign, it does not check for data type, meaning that these are in fact the same number. So if I refresh the browser, it says true, even though they're not the same data type. Now we do also have some other ones. And let me actually just go ahead and go back a little bit. So we have five for X and 10 for Y. So if I go in and delete the equal signs inside the if statement, we can actually say if X is lesser than Y, then it should say true by using the lesser than symbol. If I go refresh the browser, you'll say it says true because X is five, which is lesser than 10. If I change this one to greater than, it says false. Now we also have one that says lesser than or greater than and equal. So we can actually say if it's greater than and equal, it still says false. So right now I can actually set it to, let's say we both have 10 for X and 10 for Y. 
So right now it's not greater than, like x is not greater than y, but it is in fact equal to, meaning that we will actually get true. So we have a bunch of different statements here, and there's a lot of them out there. Well, there's not a lot of them out there. I think we did actually cover most of them. There's one more that we didn't actually cover. Actually two we didn't cover yet, which is if you want to check if something is not the same number and data type, again, you just replace one equal sign with an exclamation mark. Okay, so that's the basic difference here. Another one we can use to check if something is not identical or not equal to each other, which would be the same as this right here, which we talked about in the f one of the first ones. We can actually go ahead and write lesser than and equal to, uh, lesser than and greater than, and it will in fact check if these are not equal to each other. And it's the same thing. So I, I usually don't use this one because there's another one that does the same one, but that's actually the last one we're gonna talk about. So that's the basic idea behind comparison operators, and I'll see you guys next time.